Your details this morning on that deadly drone strike that killed three U.S. Army reservists. Still to be determined just how the U.S. will respond. KTLA's Eric Spillman live in the newsroom with the latest for us. Eric, good morning. Frank, one other big question about the attack is how did this enemy drone get past U.S. air defenses? Why wasn't it intercepted? Well, the Pentagon now says confusion and human error might have played a role. The, dro the drone came from a militant group backed by Iran. It targeted the U.S. base known as Tower 22 in northeastern Jordan. But just as the hostile drone, the enemy drone, was approaching, an American drone was returning to the base right at the same time. That's why there was no attempt to shoot it down. The drone, the enemy drone, struck the trailers, which are used for housing at the base. The three U.S. soldiers died while they were sleeping in their beds. Forty others were hurt. It's the first time American troops have been killed since the Israel-Hamas war began. In those three and a half months, Iran's proxies have launched more than 160 attacks on U.S. forces in the Middle East. President Biden met yesterday in the Situation Room with his top national security advisors. He has said the U.S. will respond. Republicans blame him for not doing enough to stop Iran. One of his top aides was asked yesterday whether the president is considering a direct strike inside Iran. I think you can understand. I hope you can understand. I'm not going to telegraph punches here. We are not looking for a war with Iran. We are not looking to escalate the tensions any more than they already have been escalating. In fact, everything we've done has been designed to try to de-escalate those tensions. That said, this was a very serious attack. It had lethal consequences. We will respond and we'll respond appropriately. I'm not going to telegraph what that's going to look like. The three Americans who died in the attack are Sergeant William Jerome Rivers, Specialist Kennedy Sanders, and Specialist Brianna Moffett, all three from the same Army Reserve unit based in Fort Moore, Georgia. Rivers was 46 years old. He had joined the Army Reserve in 2011 and had served a nine-month tour in Iraq in 2018. Brianna Moffett was just 23 years old. She had enlisted just after graduating high school, and she and Kennedy Sanders, who was just 24, were very good friends. Their parents say they were bubbly and constantly laughing. Sanders' mom and dad say their daughter was somebody who was just living life, enjoying life at a young age, and working toward a career. So all of these different things that she had plans for that, you know, just cut short in the blink of an eye. So, you know, I just feel like with somebody like her that's so full of life, it's just unfair that she'll never get to realize those dreams that she had. In Sanders' hometown of Waycross, Georgia, flags have been lowered to half staff. Her parents say when she would call home from Jordan, she talked about drones being shot down nearby, but had never mentioned that she was in imminent danger. Jessica?